Hi guys, lot of you want to work on a cruise ship in a bar department. So I would request you to please watch this video till the end. So you will get some idea how to get select on a cruise ship in a bar department. What will be the qualification, experience, salary, positions and everything which you want to know about a bar department on a cruise ship will be covered in this video till the end if you watch. So he is the person who is working on a cruise ship as a bar waiter and he is a bar runner you can say so he is taking the drink if you get selected even you have to do the same thing regardless whichever cruise ship you are working on so just enjoy this video how he served the drinks and later on i will take that interview of a bar waiter in this video itself and he will explain you how to get select on a cruise ship if you want to work in a bar department Hi, welcome back to my channel guys and welcome back to another episode of Cruising with Cody. So guys, finally I am here on a Cordilla Cruises and now I'm going to talk about the bar department because all you people want to really work in a bar department and on a cruise ship, bar department is highly paid department as you know. So today I am actually going to talk to one of the guy who is working as a bar waiter. So he will going to talk with us very soon. So you can follow me. So on a cruise ship, actually the bar look like this. So this is the standard bar you can see. More or less, it will be really the same if you're working in an international or if you're working in a domestic cruise liner. So you'll find a lot of glasses, some uh, Coke machine. Uh, there will be alcohol downstairs somewhere. So the bar will look like this. So come with me, I'll show you. So they'll have some scanners also nowadays in India. The scanners are very popular. So if you want to pay, you can pay by a scanner. And there are some bar glasses also. You can see such a beautiful glass, which is, I think this is used for martini or something. So they have all the glasses and everything over here. So you can see there right inside, there is the storeroom there where they stuck up all the glasses all the alcohol all the eyes everything inside i will check with the bar manager if i can go inside and make a video so right now you see that person going inside i'm going to talk about him how he got selected on a cordilla cruises and working in a bar department so without wasting time let's start this video so guys i am going to talk with pratik he's working in a bar department as a bar waiter so pratik please say hi to Hello, our subscribers hi. Hi. so he's going to tell you everything how he got selected on a cruise ship as a bar waiter so first question i'm going to ask him is the education qualification required for a bar waiter so like i'll tell you about my qualifications i have done my hotel management then after that i have done a flair bartending जिसके वजह से बार में ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट आया तो फिर एडिट प्ले बार टेंडिंग इवेंट्स आई यूज टू वर्क एज अ फ्री लैंसर फिर उसके बाद आई वर्क एज अ बार टेंडर बार टीम लीडर विद आयरिश हाउस तो यही हो गया कि जितना आपको बार में करियर लोगे अगर आपको क्रूज शिप पे जाना है तो यू विल गेट अ बार डिपार्टमेंट डेफिनेटली ओके हाउ मेनी इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस रिक्वायर्ड टू गेट सिलेक्टेड ऑन अ क्रूज शिप इन अ बार डिपार्टमेंट इट्स लाइक एट लीस्ट यू शुड हैव Three to four years of experience working as a bartender. So, what is the position you start from? If if a person gets selected on a cruise ship, what is the first position he is going to start from? It's like uh, in a bar department, there are basically five positions. So, like you no, the first start, position you start from bar utility. Bar utility. So, guys, the first position remember is bar utility. Well guys if you want to know about the bar utility I have also made a video on it this is the thumbnail and the link is in the description box If a person gets selected in a bar utility so when is the next promotion he gets and what is the promotion It will be like he has to go with at least 3 contracts for 6 6 months okay to be selected as a junior bar waiter okay so remember guys at least three contract and if you are lucky enough two contract is also okay yes. but at least three contract 
then you select as a junior bar waiter junior bar waiter so you'll start working as a junior bar waiter so now very important what is the starting salary of a person a starting salary if a utility it will be around like I'm not, not sure exactly up to around 500 to 800 so 500 to 800 you can earn if you get selected on a cruise ship as a bar utility so how long is your contract it depends you you can get a contract for 6 months or 8 months people are there who are working from past 9 months also okay so anything between 9 8 to 9 months 8 to 9 8 to 9 months now what very important what is your working duties pratik so people want to know like how is your day start and when is the so much load of a work you get it's like uh, what time you start your duty we start at this bar opens at around uh, 7 o'clock in the morning 7 o'clock guys so if you are a early riser you can if you are a late riser forget about it 7 o'clock he start working yeah. and then that it's like you have to work for 10 hours at least in 24 hours at least 10 hours every day you need to work do you get off no so no off if you are working for 8 months so there is no off but i'm sure you break can shift. yeah there is a break shift where you can go out you can relax and all that that's all uh, always in there the package right yeah. so and is it a very difficult to work on a cruise ship it's not very difficult actually once you join the cruise ship starting mein thoda sa you will feel ki yaar ghar jana hai ghar jana hai but once you adjust the environment it's fun working on the ship okay so guys now you have some idea about how to get selected on a cruise ship in a bar department and many thanks to mr pratik who is working as a bar waiter so i will see you in my next video about cruise ship and cruise ship life so stay tuned with cruising with goldi